Hello. In this video, I will be discussing everything related to grading on Flow. So I'll be walking you through how to enable grading on your Flow account, how to set up your grading periods and create any rubrics you'd like to use, how to grade individual assignments, and how to access your Flow gradebook. It's important to note that anyone with the administrator user role will be able to access your grading information on Flow. As such, we do recommend that if you plan on using the grading functionalities in Flow, that only the advisor has that administrator user role. We do have a separate video that talks about creating users and selecting user roles, so be sure to watch that if you have any questions. If you'd like to grade on Flow, the first thing you'll want to do is enable grading. And to do that, I'm going to come to my flow settings using this icon on the left. And I'm going to click on the grading tab. So the first thing I want to do in here is toggle on this top option to indicate that I want to grade assignments in flow. Once that's done, I can set up my grading periods. So let's say uh, instead of semesters, I want to do four quarters. I can easily come in here and adjust the existing periods as well as add any additional grading periods that I need. I also want to make sure that I select the current grading period. So if I need to change that from quarter to quarter in this case, or semester to semester, or trimester, or however you have your grading period set up, you can come in here and adjust the current grading period. Lastly, you can choose your grading style here. We have two options, either traditional or cumulative. Traditional is going to be more of a score out of a score, so 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, etc. Cumulative will just be more of a raw score, um, so you can choose the grading style that you'd like. Once you've enabled grading, set up your grading periods, and selected your grading style, you'll want to go ahead and save grading options up here in the upper right-hand corner. In addition to enabling and setting up your grading periods, you can also create rubrics. Again, to do that, I'm in the settings here, and I can click into the grading rubrics tab. We do have a separate video on how to create rubrics, and I've included that video below. So if you'd like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up a grading rubric, be sure to watch that video. After I've set up my grading, periods and I've added any desired rubrics to flow, I am ready to start grading assignments. And there are a few ways that I can do that. First, if I am working in the stories page, which I can get to with the second icon here on the left, I can click on an individual story. And if I'm ready to grade any assignments that are part of this story, I can use the orange grade story button here on the left. And from there, I'm going to see anybody who's been assigned an assignment within this story. So I can see I've got a writing and photography assignment with one assignee in each, and I'm prompted to enter in scoring data for them. Now, I can either enter in a score here, or if I want to use a grading rubric that I've created, I can select that rubric, and I can fill it out accordingly here. Go ahead and do that, and I can leave a comment here and save. Once you've got your grading completed, you can close out of here. And that is one option for grading assignments. The other way that you can grade assignments is using our grading center. To access that grading center, I'm going to use this icon here on the left and click on it. And there are a lot of different things built into this interface to make bulk grading a little bit easier. So first, I can really easily see um, any assignees here, and I can see the specific assignments that they've been assigned to. Um, so I think this view makes it a little bit easier to see that information. There are also some filtering options up here. So if I wanted to only see assignments that are completed and grade those completed assignments, I can filter and see those. Or if I wanted to only grade photography assignments for right now, I can use these filtering options up here at the top to um, kind of filter this grading center. So again, this grading center just offers another way to grade assignments in bulk with some different filtering options. The last thing to know about grading in Flow is how to access your gradebook. And to do that, I'm going to use this grades checkmark icon here on the left. If I click on that, I can see my full gradebook 
And I can also click on individual users within the gradebook and see all of their different assignments. Staff users will have access to this grades tab. If they click on that grades tab, they will see their own individual grading information, including any rubrics. So if I am a staff user, I've been graded using a rubric and I wanna see that or see any feedback, I can also click on the grades tab here, click on any assignments and view rubrics for those assignments. So that is everything involved with grading in Flow. Again, you can enable grading, set up your grading periods and grading style, create any rubrics, grade individual assignments either on the stories page or in the grading center. And finally, you can access your Flow gradebook here. If you have any questions about grading on Flow or if you have any other Flow related questions, please check out our other Flow support videos or reach out to us at support at Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great rest of your day.